Hi guys, Kylie back again to help you with your onboarding and coming up to speed quicker when you've started with your new organization. It's gonna to touch briefly now on open homes. This is not sales training, but given that we might have leasing consultants or we might have salespeople or sales associates listening, or people in the office for that matter, that are called out from time to time to be on open homes if someone's sick or unwell, providing you've got the right credentials to give advice or talk to clients. I wanna just give you some handy hints around open homes. Um, we've had some key learnings from our mystery shopping and our client experience benchmarking that I'd like to share with you some outcomes as to how you can perform best in sector open homes. Just remember when you get to the open home guys, this is a really confronting thing for a lot of people that are out and about. I'm not gonna to talk to you today about process and compliance about setting up your flag, you know, water on the table, how you meet and greet with your app, because every office is different as to how they do that. And they'll have a benchmark. And it's as simple as when they get to the front door, guys, introducing yourself. We've been through hundreds of open homes recently, and it's amazing how many times a buyer or a prospective buyer will come to the front door and someone says, hi Lee, welcome to our open home. Would you like to have a look through? Is there anything I can help with? There's no name introduction, there's no name badge on from a subliminal message. If you're shaking hands, subject to COVID restrictions, or handing out your business card and you've got your name badge on, then that's three points of contact where you're reinforcing your name and your introduction to make them remember who you are and have impact. So at the moment what we're seeing is people are turning up at opens and they're not even knowing the agent's name. If they've been through seven or 10 open homes that day, which a lot of buyers do when they're out and about having a look, if you're not introducing yourself, how are they going to remember who you are to get back in contact with you later if they need to speak to an agent? When you get to the front door, wide smile, game on. Midweek opens or Saturdays, guys, is your biggest day of the week. It is not the time to have a late night the night before or be unorganized or turn up late. You get seven seconds to have an impact when you meet somebody. So make sure that the first time they see you, you're professionally dressed, you've got a smile on your dial, you're ready with your business card, you're ready to check them into the open home, whether it be on paper or with your app, if that's what you use, you're introducing your name and then you're asking for their name back. I mean, how rude is it when someone walks to the open home and we're like, hi, please come through, welcome to our open home. Here's a brochure, can I get your details? You're asking them for their details, yet you haven't given anything to expect something in return. Try and qualify guys when they come through the open. If they're researching the market or they're here today to buy or to rent a property. It's only a little thing, but we're asking them for their first name, their surname. And can I ask you, Bill, where are you coming from today? So you can find out their suburb, because obviously if they're a local homeowner or investor, you want to know about that. So when you call them back later that day or on Monday, you can qualify potentially if they're in need of an agent to come through and do an appraisal on the property. But importantly, if someone is marketing, doing marketing research or researching the market, fair chances are they might have something to sell. Or Mr. and Mrs. Client, are you looking to buy today? Fancy that, it'll tell you if they're a buyer. When they're going through the property, depending on how many people that you've got in the home and whether there's two agents at a home, will qualify the, the time that you might have to build rapport as they're going through the property. A lot of people will like to have a look through the property themselves or if it's a larger block of land or you're in an area that it might need to have defined the boundaries, then you should be asking the client, Bill, would you like to have a look around the property? And then I might catch you out the front and we'll have a look at where the boundaries are. Or Bill, could I walk you through the property and then we'll go out the back and have a look at the boundaries? Or would you prefer to walk through yourself? Now I get, depending on the market, you might have 30, 60, and I've even heard recently about open homes where there's been 150 people going through the open. So it's all about capacity. But the quieter it is, guys, the more opportunity it is for you to build that connection and be memorable for somebody when they come through the open home. Everybody lays information out on the kitchen table. When you're laying things out on the kitchen table, guys, I want you to think about what you're actually putting out and are you self-promoting or you're actually providing materials on the table that are valuable for the client. Handy hints when thinking about selling. If someone walks out with that, fair chance they're thinking about selling. Stamp duty ready reckoners. Um, what's happening in the local area, like a what's on? What have you got to offer in your property management department? Etc. Etc. So it shouldn't just be a whole wall of spamming about your awards and your face. That comes later when you're nurturing the relationship. 
always have music on, always have doors open, nice, light and airy, and making sure that you are connecting at every opportunity throughout the open home. There's lots of other things that I can talk about opens, but I'm gonna to say to you right now, and listen to this clearly. If you wanna have impact in your career, and you wanna really add value to a consumer, call them back on Saturday afternoon if you can. So going back to the office or going home, the way tech is now, you can ring them from anywhere. But when you ring them back, guys, don't ask them about the property. This is a chance for you to connect and be different and say, hey, Bill and Mary, just thought I'd give you a call. We met at 50 Smith Street today. I just wanted to see how the open homes went. Did you get through many? Didn't really get a chance to connect with you at 50 Smith Street. Just wanted to see if I could inquire at the property that you came through. Is that actually the price at which you're looking? And that might lead into a whole rot of conversation around their budget and all those sorts of things. But that call on Saturday, guys, is to connect, show that you care, ring and say that I've entered you into the database and I just wanted to qualify your criteria. Confirm their budget, their requirements, what schools they need to be nearby, if they need a big block of land, if they want a pool, what's important to them. Listen, confirm what they're telling you and confirm that you're putting into the database and you want to help partner with them to find their family home. And you might, after you've spoken to them, send them a market report on what's been happening in that market over the last six to 12 months. You are becoming their agent before they need an agent. And we all know that every buyer will one day sell and they're gonna remember how you've partnered with them and how you've helped them during their property journey. And if they're a prospective seller and you provide that level of service and follow up and listen and no one else rings on Saturday, then you will be a standout in their mind. And if you've offered them value on Saturday, when you've called back and you've given them a market report, you've listened to them, you've heard what they're looking for and you've recorded it and you've summarized that to them, when you ring back on Monday or Tuesday, they're more likely to connect with you rather than going, great, another agent phoning. And don't be afraid to say, Bill and Mary, I don't wanna be that agent that spams you everything. I wanna make sure that what I'm sending you when I reach out is relevant to your buyer journey and that you're getting it how you wanna get it. So do you want me to text it to you? Do you want me to email or want me to phone when a new listing comes online? So guys, all those things that we spoke about in our client experience series early in this onboarding webinar will be relevant to how you do your open homes. It is your chance to shine. It is your chance to connect. So make sure that you prepare and that you're ready and you do your open homes differently to your competitors.